Hey everyone, so I am really excited to do this video today. I just got a huge box from Sephora. I was actually planning on, literally I was sitting down, just finishing my makeup, about to film my or my fourth installment of my Fall Trends series, which I'm going to film after this. It's going to go up next week. Um, and this baby hit my porch, so I thought, I can't resist. I want to open it all, and I figured I would just open everything um, on the video. So I'm really excited about it. So I'm obviously really excited about this. And, um, yeah, I'm thrilled with all the stuff I picked out. I haven't opened the box yet. It's literally just opened and packed up. But yeah, so I had a couple of items that I knew I needed from Sephora. I needed um, foundation, and there was a new um, little limited edition palette, or little, I don't know what to call it, palette, um, of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders that had three in the compact, and I knew I wanted those. But while I was on the site, I found a lot of other things that I really wanted. And I know that usually around November... And I'm, I'm really not 100% sure, maybe October 2, I don't know. Um, the Friends and Family Sephora sale, the Beauty Insider sale rolls around. And so I knew I needed this stuff, and I thought, whatever, I'll go ahead and get this stuff because I need my foundation anyways. And then I always take advantage of that Beauty Insider, like, 20% off sale um, for, like, Christmas gifts and things like that. So no problem, no big deal. I'm just really excited so my hair's sticking to the tape on this package so let's jump on in so when I was checking out um, I saw that I qualified for the new VIB Rouge program which means you've spent an insane amount of money at Sephora throughout the year Ooh, and it comes with a bite lipstick oh I love bite lipsticks so let's see VIB all access pass Oh, it's just like a beauty appointment or whatever. And they're like a percent off. Usually sometimes I'll do like a... In the color Bite for VIB Rouge. So it's... Ooh, that's pretty. So it's a different little color. It's like a limited edition. And I will be doing the same thing with this video that I did with my last mm -hmm. Sephora haul. I believe it was a Sephora haul. My phone keeps going off and buzzing. Um, where I'll do uh, swatches on my blog of everything in depth, so I'll kind of show you. But um, I have some points, so I got this Desire Dolce & Gabbana little bottle. That's really cute. It'll be precious on my... It smells pretty good. Since I ran out of my under eye concealer recently by Maybelline that I love, I decided to try um, this one. It is the Waterproof protective under eye concealer by Lancome and you get quite a bit. I mean this is a lot of concealer I think. I got the shade Light Buff and it says it's a long lasting under eye concealer and it looks like it's probably the perfect shade which is exciting because I hate buying stuff like that online. Oh I didn't even use any under eye concealer today. Probably because I'm out. Seems like it's um seems like it sets up really well. Like, what was that the other day I was talking about? Oh, it was one of those Tarte under eye concealers that just did not set up really well at all. Um, seems like it's already kind of, like, drying as you use it. So. Yeah. I like that. It's funny that I didn't wear that today. And if it stays in place and is long wearing, then that's, that's a big plus. I didn't do it nearly as good as I could have, and it probably still looks shadowy, but whatever. Okay, this is crazy. If this is this big, then holy crap. Oh, no, it's got the primer in with it, too. Okay, let me tell you how much this was. Why does Sephora never have prices on there? Okay, so I had to look it up just for the price. The regular ambient lighting powders in the little square boxes are $45. I have one right here, and they look like that. So for 0.35 ounces, they're $45. This one was, where did it go? <laughs> this one was 58. And isn't it pretty? Like you can kind of see the different, okay, size difference. Now there are three different colors in here and they are 0.116 ounces each. So yeah, maybe about the same size. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Um... <gasps> 
So there is dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light. And I think that the incandescent light is a limited one for the palette. The incandescent light one, the, which is the one that I think you can only get through this palette. I hope that's right since I'm telling you that because I know one of these is limited and I think it's that one. Um, that one is very, very like highlighter. Oh, let me show you. Um, well, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but like I would use that like on the tops of my cheekbones and stuff. And then this one that is a little darker, which is the radiant light, I would probably use with a brush like this and just kind of like dust over my cheeks and like you could use this one a little more. So they're not just like products that you would just highlight, you know? They're products that you could literally use very lightly over your whole face to create like some sort of like dimension and kind of like a soft focus effect. So I am like so obsessed with this. I wish I would have taken pictures of it before. Well, no, it still looks fine. Um, but I, I do want to do that again like I did before. And where's the little... Okay, it came with the Veil Mineral Primer, which I bought one of these too in a full size because I've heard so many great things about this. And typically, lately, I've just not been a primer gal. But I thought this was a great little size, and it comes with that. So for the $58, you get that and you get this, which I think this would probably go along... This would definitely go a long way. Um, and this primer is supposed to just be like, it's one of the highest rated primers that I've seen. It has sort of that really silicone, like slippery feel. It doesn't feel greasy. It just feel, it has that sort of dry, like slip feel. Um, it's supposed to be really good for oily skin and really keep your makeup in place. So after reading all of the reviews, I just went ahead and, and bought one, a big one. So I guess I could have just waited and tried this one, but I kind of just jumped and got this one because I really wanted it. It's oil-free. It has SPF, which is good. So I'll show you what the bottle looks like. So this is huge. I mean, I, I really, really, I'm, I'm actually glad that I bought this because I would never travel with this because this is a glass bottle. It is freaking huge. Um, so I, I could always like just sort of, you know, stick it in there if I was traveling. Um, and then, oh my gosh, I'm so, oh, so excited about that. I got my Makeup Forever, uh, shade 30, which I mix with shade 25. Sometimes, most of the time I can just wear 30 and be fine, no matter if I'm super pale or if I'm a little bit more tan. So the 30 works pretty much all the time, but the 25, I mix with it sometimes if the 30 looks a bit dark or and the 25 on its own matches but I find that it just makes me look a little like it it's just a little too light but um but I always run out of the 30 first because I, I use the 30 a lot more than the 25 so got that and you've seen me show this a million times but I just love these bottles they can be hard to get every last drop out of but I always just kind of store it on its top when it's running out like for example, this one like is pretty much empty, um, but you know, it's completely like to where I can't hardly squeeze it anymore. Um, but I, I just love that the bottles are like a soft rubber. You can travel, or not rubber, but plastic. You, you can travel with them really well. Um, oh my gosh. I'm really excited about this because I have looked at these masks forever at Sephora. And they are so freaking expensive. I really loved how this had both of them. They are the Glam Glow Masks in... What are they called? The Super Med Clearing Treatment, which is what I wanted. Because I have oilier skin. My pores get clogged. I break out. And the Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. So it comes in this cool box. And it's supposed to be like a gift set. Oh. Oh, cute. Look how it opens. Um, really sweet and I like and I did not even realize this when I bought it but I like how the clearing mud what's it called the super mud clearing treatment is big and then the tingle exfoliate is a little smaller because I'll probably use the clearing mud a lot more if you go online and you look at pictures of these on Sephora um, or pictures of the super mud it goes on white and or does it go on white? or it goes on dark and then dries white and then you can see the dirt that, or it 
kind of doesn't dry around or doesn't turn white around the areas like of oil and things that come out of your pores. So you can see like dark areas. Um, not that the dirt was dark that came out of your skin, but just it doesn't change the mask color. So you can see everything that comes out of your skin, which is kind of neat. Um, I just hate to open it because I've heard people say it dries out like crazy. So um, yeah, it starts dark. See? Ooh, it smells really minty and tingly, which I really like in masks. So, I cannot wait to try this tonight. Um, and then the, whoa, sticker on the box keeps grabbing me. And then the Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. I don't really know a lot about this one, I will tell you. But the Tingle Exfoliate says it's designed as a 10-minute professional facial in a jar. da 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 da, -da. Mm hmm a tingle tastic tightening effect and that's all it says but um but yeah that's supposed to be good for your pores and so I'm gonna try both of those and I'm really really excited about that and then one more thing these nail polishes let me make sure that get this out of my lap um these new formula X nail polishes I saw them on Sephora's website. I had not heard really anything about them. I seen, I had seen one of them in a recent magazine that I read. I think the last time I was like at the airport or, or what, when was that? It was a while back, but I remember seeing someone talking about this. And it's funny because I actually got one of them as a sample and then I bought one of them. And I really just wanted a nice red. And from what I have read about these, they are supposed to be super long wearing, like that of a gel or something, but they remove normally from what I know. Um, the colors are fabulous. They have got the coolest colors, like from more traditional colors to the, the most out there, unique, beautiful colors. Um, so for some reason, I just really wanted a nice red and this one was described as a lipstick red it's called Curiosity. I think it was the deepest red that they had. And those are the types of reds that I like rather than like an orangey red. Um, so I can't wait to try this. And I'll probably use this next. But it's called Formula X for Sephora. So apparently they're only available at Sephora. And then with my 100, I think it was 100 points with my VIB points. Um, as I was checking out, I saw that they had another little one. And this one is more of like a really bright pink red and it's called Pyrotechnic. So I'm really excited about those. And I just really think that I got some exciting stuff. I cannot wait to try them and tell you guys what I think, especially about the masks. I know that this is just like, whoa, this is, I, bleh, I'm so excited about this. Um, I just, I think this is just so genius that they did this because I've been wanting to get more of those colors. My very favorite one is the Luminous Light. And I have the, the one that's, let me see, I think it's called Diffused Light. This is the other one that I have. And it's more yellow. The Luminous Light, just, you could put it all over your skin and it gives you this just like glowy look without looking like you don't highlighter all over your face. But like I said, I've been wanting to try more because, you know, I've, they've been a product that I've totally fallen in love with so much as I've used them. You know, like, to begin with, I was just a little unsure, but it's just funny how that kind of works. Like, I just am obsessed with them, and I wanted to try more, but I didn't want to pay $45 every time I wanted to try more, so I felt like by paying what I paid for this one, I am all set because I don't have to buy anymore because I've got, like, a little bit of everything. Um, so I am just really thrilled with this and everything that I got, and I haven't even used them yet, but I'm just, it's just exciting stuff. Uh, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul, and if you want to see, did I even really get anything that would warrant a swatch? The only thing would be this, the lipstick, and the nail polishes. Yeah, I'll do it. Who cares? Um, so yeah, go on over to my blog if you want to see more detailed swatches, and I'll go ahead and swatch the other hourglass powders that I have too. I'll set those out so I don't forget. I so hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.